Hi, it's Savannah O'Gwen from Savannah Land 2. Today I'm sharing a quick way to dress up your Halloween treats and gift certificates. Now, I have to be honest, Trav and I are not Halloween fans. And we never ever get trick-or-treaters. I remember the first year we were married, I bought four or five bags of candy, and not one person stopped by. <laughs> And actually, I don't even like to make super cute and detailed bags or treats that I've created because I know the kids will just tear it and throw it away. And that's what happened when I was a teacher. I The first year, I made, oh, I can't even explain what I made. It was so detailed and took hours. And the minute I gave it to my students, they just tore into it and it just sat into my heart. So I like to make more of a practical Halloween treat. And that's what I've got today. These little journal cards and tags are super simple to make. And there's a bonus. When you flip it over, you can have your name and information, like your address or phone number um, or your email address. That way, you, when you give it to your neighbors or your child's teacher or your parents of children in your child's classroom, they can contact you and they have your information. Or you can just write a fun Halloween riddle or joke on the back. Either way, these are real simple to make, and you're going to need just a couple of supplies. First, you're going to need some gift certificates. Now, I love to give these because they're super cheap. Wendy, um, Wendy's gives 10 certificates for just a dollar. And plus, um, candy kind of rots sometimes if it just sits around. And sometimes people don't like the candy you give, so these are always fun to give out to children. You're also going to need cardstock some ink, washi tape, I'll be using two different types, some twine, I'm using Whisker Graphics Green Apple Divine Twine, you're going to need a corner rounder, a hole punch, and of course you're going to need your reverse confetti stamps. I'll be using Spooky Sediments and Spooky Cuties for this uh, tag today. Isn't it kind of funny that something so simple has so many tools and supplies? <laughs> so to get started, you're going to want to cut your cardstock to a two and three fourths inch square. Next, all I did was place um, some washi tape on the left hand side. I'm not very precise about it, I just placed it on the side. And then you're going to cut the excess and round your corners, just like this. Then comes the hardest part. You're going to stamp the witch's shoes from the Spooky Cutie set, and you're going to fussy cut them. That's the hard part. <laughs> it's actually not so hard. Just make sure you have some appropriate scissors for detailed cutting. Now I also ran my um, fussy cut images through a sticker machine to make it easier to attach to the journal card. We're going to set those aside and now we're going to make some legs. Uh, the witch's legs were made out of washi tape as well and all I did was take some purple washi tape and I ran it down the side of a scrap piece of cardstock. Again, nothing precise. And I took some scissors and I just cut um, a thin strip out of the center and it tapers off down at the bottom I'm not sure if you can see that but it tapers at the bottom so that it fits into the shoe and then I just cut it in half and then I did it again with the other side I just tapered it up cut off some of the bottom and there I have my legs and now we can assemble the tag. So we'll take this and we will take some adhesive for these legs. Make sure it's adhered at the top. And we'll place down one leg on the left hand side. Let me clean off this area real quick so it doesn't stick to everything else. and do the right hand side. And it's okay if your legs are taller than your tag, we'll just cut those off. 
crease down the right hand shoe. And if you know me, I absolutely love heels. So this is an image that I am constantly going to. I love heels. And there's our witch's legs. And then I'll just cut off the top. And now we're going to stamp the sediment. And I place it down a little bit in the center so that I can tie the top. And now to attach it to the tag, all I would do is, I'm gonna pull out my mat, line it up on my tag, punch two holes, thread some of the divine twine on a needle, and then slide this through. Well, actually, I'll go through the front. That way I have the tails coming through. And then I'm just going to tie a bow. And trim my edges. Well, not my edges, but my ribbon ends. Super simple. And so cute and totally functional. Now remember, if you want to put the information on the back, I would do that before you attach it to your gift certificate. <laughs> now I hope that you will create some of these fun Halloween tags using your reverse confetti stamps for some of your neighbors and uh, trick-or-treaters that come your way. Please leave a comment below with a link to your creation or project. I'd love to check it out. Thanks so much for watching.